Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII modded for the PC. Yeah, first things first though, I just want to apologize for the long wait in the making of this episode. I know you've just been dying to hear my voice after so long, and I'm really really sorry that I couldn't get this out to you faster, but I've just been so distracted by many different little things that have been going on in my life. Which I won't really bother going to detail about since that's just boring. And on top of that, I've been having numerous cases of technical difficulties getting this game to run properly as of late. But those issues have mostly been fixed. But uh, that aside, on with the video. So if I remember correctly from the, from the last part, Cloud and the gang were just talking around this bonfire here. And then, um, Red 13's grandpa showed up, and then talked to him a bit about his past, I think. And then he had, and then he apparently has something to show us, and then left. So, so now we're gonna try to look for him, and see what Red's grandpa has in for us. Just go up here, I've already saved, keep going up. Up there. There you go, Cloud. It's a good Cloud. And there he is. He's still floating on some kind of green ball thing. Which is still pretty strange. Let's talk to him. Ho ho ho! Are we all set? Uh, yeah. But what do you have to show us? Ho ho ho! Shall we go? Ooh, is that what you have for us? Interesting. Ah, okay. Alright, come in, come in. Okay, you lead the way, Grandpa. What, are you crazy? It's dangerous in there, I told you that. You want an old man like me to go first? I'll be right behind you. Good point. Appears to be some kind of cave or shaft. It's turning a little green down here. Looks like we're about to hit the bottom. way to go towards the light oh looks to be a cave of sorts uh oh not that music nothing good comes from this kind of music hmm, looks like we got a couple little 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 caves here Guess we'll just pick one and see what happens. Go through here first. Not shaped rock. Break it open. Oh, looks like it opened something. The way forward. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone here is a ghost of the Gee tribe killed in a certain battle. A certain battle. The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear and couldn't return to the live stream. We still have far to go. Ho ho ho. What are you, Santa Claus? Making me say. Making me say ho 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 all the time. Ooh. What's that down there? Blood? I always thought it was blood. Spooky. Some treasure chest down there. Let's get. Ah. 
ether. Down here. Another chest. Black M phone. Assuming, I'm assuming that's short for megaphone, which is a weapon for Kate Chi. You remember him, right? That cat riding that giant white stuffed Moogle thing. Yeah. I understand if you forgot. Really doesn't make sense as a party member. But whatever. We'll take all the help we can get. Uh, added effect. Materia. Alright, well, that should be all the items in this area. So, hmm, well, that's a dead end. Just go back over here. Oops, bit of a slip and slide there. Just go up here. As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. Even though the Gi outnumbered us, they could not attack through here because the passage is too narrow. Let's move on. I see a treasure chest right there. Can't get to it though. And... Five different ways to, to go, apparently. Let's try going through here first. Looks like there's a spider web here. I swear, there's so many fights here. Like, every six steps I take, there's another random battle. Well, uh, let's go down here. See if we can get that treasure chest. At least I'm getting some good experience out of these battles. And mm, a fairy ring. Nice. Another treasure chest up here. I don't think we can get it from this direction. So let's go back to the starting area these five entrances and take this one. Yep, there was another treasure chest up here. Get that. An X potion. Very nice. I'll probably just end up saving all of these though, never using them. My hoarding instincts in these types of games won't allow me to use such rare items. Let's see if we can get this treasure chest here. Yep. Turbo Ether, another item that I'll probably end up saving for the whole game before I use it. This warrior went through the cave all alone, fighting attackers one after another. Grandpa. That warrior. Oh, oh, oh. We're almost there. Oh. Alright, one ugly face. I won't lie, that face really scared me as a kid when I first came across it. <laughs> but just look at it, isn't it creepy as heck? What is this? Grandpa, is he? After death, the ghost of the Gi, like stagnant air. This can't be. Especially when it does that, yeah. It's like a horror game now. Oh, well, this is the, the final boss of this dungeon, if you can say. It's just giant flying ghost Native American guy. The two little fire spirits, and now he's commanding one of them to apparently possess 
bread. That can't be good, right? So now let's have Cloud. Oh, oh, he's, he's gonna ca keep casting that on him now. That can't be good. Let's try to see if this does anything to him. If it works, it's gonna do a lot of damage. gonna leech off some HP and give it back to him. I seem to be the case. Alright, Cloud, it's all you. Let's hope this works. Oh, dang it. I knew it. That that spell doesn't work on some bosses. That's unfortunate. Well, let's just have Red use his limit break on this little fire spirit. Try to Trying to knock it out of the picture. Can't use any of those spells. Let's try using Ice 2. Oh no, he's sending it to take over Eris now, looks like. Well, that sucks, I can't attack it anymore. It's gonna keep pinging Eris. Now we just gotta wheel on this guy. What other choice do we have? I think Red should heal himself now. He's looking kind of low there, HP-wise. Now it's going to start pinging Eris that spell. Eris has her limit break. And it says it cures all status ailments of all allies, but I don't think it'll cure uh, possession by fire ghosts. But let's see if it works. Oh, I missed on everyone, so I didn't do anything, which is really bad. Let's have Cloud use Bolt 2 on the big guy. Harris can keep using Ice. You, um... I guess you can heal Harris. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Cloud. I have an idea. Picked up some items on the way here. One of them should be a really, really powerful spell against this guy. Uh, let's see if I can actually find it. Oh, there it is. Use Bio 3 on all opponents. Bio 3 is a poison type spell, which may or may not do damage to these boss type enemies. But let's see. We need Eris to heal everyone. Oh, that didn't work. Nothing ever works against these bosses for some reason. Except normal damage types. Have just have everyone will on the boss. Ignore this fire spirits. Using bolts. There's Red's limit break. Do that. Good amount of damage on him. Oh, he did a good amount of damage on Eris. And we have her semi useless limit break again. I'll just save that since it doesn't really do anything. Keep having her cast ice. You can heal Eris. Cloud, you cast the bolt. Drain errors. Leech off some HP. Not too bad. Now, errors is healed. Looks like, um, Red could use some more magic points. Mana. So I'll just have him heal himself a back up. You keep casting bolt. That didn't really do much. Now he's gonna send this fire spirits back back to take possession. Red it looks like. Got some empty back. Keep 
casting the spells. I think I'll have Red summon. If we get lucky, we might get the Fat Choker, though. Does like a good amount of damage. And also looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Should be going down soon. Quite a good amount of damage to him already. Cloud needs some more magic points. Oh yes, we got the fat choker bow. Oh, take that. A uh, good amount. I just wanted to see it though. I'll need to. Red Scott is slim to break back. Use that right away. Still not dead. That's surprising. Maybe one more spell would do it. This one? Okay. Doesn't want to die. I should have had him heal himself instead of attacking. Ah, oh, that's fine. I'll have Paris heal him. He's still not dead. Oh, there we go. That spell did it. Good job, Cloud. That's a fairly easy boss. Fire Spirits did give us a little bit of trouble, but nothing we couldn't handle. And it looks like Red learned a new limit break. Got a new staff. Quite a bit of money. Thank you, Cloud. Because of you, we survived. Naki, you have grown strong, too. Oh, yeah. Now I know that it wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come, I have something I want to show you. Right over here. Is it that green materia that's sitting in front of us? Oh. That's just a reward for beating the boss. Now let's see what he has in store for us. This is the warrior who fought against the Gi. He kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanaki. Look at your father, at the warrior, Seto. Looks very much like a statue. The, that's Des. <clears throat> that's Seto. Seto continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon. Even after the Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone, ah, that explains it. Even after they all ran away, Seto continued to protect us, and he continues to protect us even now. Even now. You thought that he was a coward and ran away, but he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Seto. That is Seto? Did mother know? Oh, 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 she knew. Two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. Until now, they asked me to seal it myself, not to tell a soul. He said we should forget about this cave. Cloud, 
Would you mind leaving the two of us alone? Naki, I want you to continue your journey with Cloud and the others. Grandpa? Listen, Naki. Cloud says they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. But, Nanaki, I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do as a part of the planet, something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Am I just wishing against fate? I'm too old to do anything about it. This year, I'll be 130. Ho ho ho! That is why, Nanaki, you must go with them, for my sake. Grandpa. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad that you came back while I was still alive to show you. Grandpa, don't talk like that. I don't want to think of life without you. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening to the planet, and I'll come back to tell you. Nanaki. I am Nanaki, Cosmo of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Seto. I'll come back at Warrior True to that noble name. So please, Grandpa. That's Seto's Seto. Shall we get going then? So this is it. Rep 13. That's just the way it goes. You came in handy at times. Alright, so looks like Red is apparently leaving the party. Or so the group thinks. So let's just have our group as Barret, Cloud, and Eris like before. Like we're finally leaving Cosmo Canyon. You want to bet that Red's gonna show back up like real soon? Wait for me! I'm coming too. Cloud, please look after Nanaki. What happened? I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Oh, oh, oh. Come back whenever you need my knowledge. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> 